Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the third update for the roulette pan collab that was created by Rebecca Morgan and Alexi here on YouTube. I will link both of their channels down below, so check them out for sure. I, w I will also have the project pan playlist for you guys to watch as well. Before we get into this, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out the rest of my playlist at the end of this video, and have fun enjoying uh, enjoy watching this. I have a lot of project pan finales up on my channel this month is going to be super hectic super crazy and i am in my sweater dress my hair is tucked in and like i'm looking very bronzed just because and glowy i didn't set my face yet but yeah i'm just here i'm just here for the sweater weather i am finally excited to be able to wear stuff like this like knitted knitted dresses and like all of those fun uh winter stuff so yeah that's besides the point <laughs> all right guys let's get into this update i have hit my goal on mm, three products however i'm gonna count it as four and i'll let you guys know why but let's start off with the goals met the first product that i've actually hit my goal on is for prompt what was it? An expensive product. And I decided to go with my Smashbox Eyebrow Trio. This is in the shade Brunette. My goal was to hit pan on the dark brown shade in here. And I managed to do that. So I'm very happy with where I am with this product. It is one of my most expensive eyebrow products. Uh, just because it is a trio. But I have had this for a few years now. And I do really want to start slowly working on this and surely getting it out of my collection hopefully in 2021 or 2022 and i've used it a total of 35 times since the start of this project pan so very happy about this rolling this out rolling in something new in its place and that is another uh prompt done the next two products are actually lip products and they both had the same um, goal and I did actually hit my goal on both of them just because I filmed last month's update a week earlier so I had like 37 days to actually hit my goal on both of these and I managed to do them. So the first one that I hit my goal on is for a product you regret buying and I chose my NYX, um, what is this? <laughs> the NYX matte lipstick in the shade mls09 natural the goal is to use this 15 times only the reason why i regret buying this it is a really pretty pink shade but it is a bit cool toned so it doesn't really work with my skin tone it looks really pretty when swatched but on my lips it's a bit too cool toned and it makes my teeth look really yellow and it just doesn't really match with me. I really need to like mix it in with some other colors just to make it work. I did use this on my cheeks a couple of times as a blush and I really enjoyed that color. I did multitask this which is how I finished or hit my goal on using it 15 times in a single month. But yeah. Next product I hit my goal on is a matte for a matte product. This is my ColourPop ultra matte lip in the shade lax this is a mini and my goal was to use it 15 times and i did do that as well let me give you guys a swatch i'm really close to finishing off this lip color you guys can see it's a really pretty pretty shade it's like a brick red kind of color i really like it i really really like it for this time of year i am gonna put this into another project pan for next year just to finish it off and I don't have a lot, I do have quite a bit at the bottom and then at the top of the middle section. I've worked through most of them. I am scraping the sides just to get every single last bit out of it. That was the third product I hit my goal on. And for the other product that I'm close to hitting my goal on but not completely is actually for my perfume. So this was for the prompt, a product you will always repurchase. And I told you guys, it's not specifically this perfume itself, but it's just perfume in general. Just because I love perfume, I love smelling good. Wait, this is my Valili collection number 812 perfume. It was like a gift that my friend gave all of us just on her baby shower. I don't really like it, it doesn't have a lot of staying power and it does smell a little bit alcoholy and I want to say cheap. I like using this as a room spray, uh, it smells good that way, it is 
kind of like a vanilla scentish kind of thing but yeah i have the tiniest amount left you guys know i was somewhere up here it was brand new when i put it into this project pan previous update i was somewhere up here and this is where i am in a week's time this will definitely be done but because this is the last update and i can't roll anything else in for this round i did want to like call this kind of done i will show you guys an empty bottle next time but i did want to roll in something else in its place just because I can. <laughs> so yeah, those were all four products that I have met my goal on. And let's talk about the other two products I still was working on. It was a product of your choice. And I decided to go with my Poop Art Poopa palette. And I was working on this light shimmer shade. I don't know how to show you guys to not give you guys spoilers. But let's do this. So this is the shade that I was working on. And my goal was to finish it off completely. You guys can see I still have a lot left. I'll just have pictures for you guys up on the screen but i used it a total of 14 times at the past month i'm still not done i am gonna be uh, adding it into one of my lotions just to create a shimmery lotion i am kind of tired of that color next product i was working on was actually something i rolled in last month and it was for a product you bought because of youtube and it wasn't this product specifically like i said so this is uh, my stick foundation from joe fresh in the shade almond it is way too dark on me and i chose this because i saw a lot of people use stick foundations that were a few shades darker as a bronzer and that is how i bought this or why i bought this my goal was to use it 15 times this month i didn't do that i used it just three times today included so you guys won't be able to see like a big difference but i use it three times it's still better than zero in my opinion um so yeah so that was the last product i was working on uh, this month and then for rolling in our four new products i did do that right before i started filming this video i will have it up on the screen as you guys can, could see i only had 10 prompts left and i'm rolling in four new products that leaves me with six so those six prompts are going to be what i'm going to be starting off with on the next round to stay clean slate like the six products and i'm done with the 50 old prompts once i finish off or hit my goal on the products next round i will roll in from the 100 new prompts and i'm very excited about that because it just gives it a little more like extra spice i feel like <sighs> okay i only have one month so i like chose realistic goals for myself let's start with prompt number four let's go from like um numer numeral num numerological order numerological numerical numerical numerological Let's go in order. <laughs> so for prop number four, a product you haven't used much, I decided to go with a highlighter. It's one of the reasons why I didn't want to work on this highlighter that much longer. You guys will know the story with this one in my Pan That Palette for next year. But this is my MAC Soft and Gentle. It is one of my OG highlighters that I've had for a few years. I. <sighs> I chose it for this prompt because I used it quite a bit when I first got it. That was around, I don't know, six years ago probably. But ever since then, I just haven't used it. I don't know why. It's just quite bulky, so it doesn't sit in my everyday makeup drawer or it takes a lot of space, so I don't really like putting it there. I only use it like once in a while, you know, if I have a special occasion and I want that extra glow. But I have worked on it quite a bit, I feel like. My goal for this project is to use it only 10 times. I do want to make it realistic and still use other products, for example, that highlighter. And the reason I went for 10 times is just to see if I want to pan this next year. I think my goal with a lot of these projects or products that I only have only one month to work on is to see if I want to work on them next year. So you guys can see this is how much I have left. You know what this highlighter looks like. Everyone knows what this looks like. It is super beautiful. The next product I'm going to be rolling in is for Prompt 5, a product you wouldn't repurchase. And okay, I chose my Smashbox Contour Palette Trio. I know a lot of people have worked on this. 
and my goal is to use this 10 times also so my goal is to use this 10 times no matter which shade I use, I just want to use it 10 times. Prop number seven, a product from ColourPop. I think I have been working through a lot of ColourPop items, so I went with a lip color once again. This is my ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Notion. I have worked through one mini size of this in previous project times. I think I finished it this year. I actually finished off that lipstick and I have the full size. I wouldn't repurchase these uh, ultra matte lips. They just, I hate them. And my goal for this is also to use it 10 times. So this is the shade Notion. It is quite darker than the shade Lux that I have or I was working on last month. But yeah, 10 times is kind of doable, I feel like. If I just put it on for my filming days, that would be even enough. But yeah, that is the third product I would be working on. And for the last one, the less interesting one in my opinion, because it's just something easier for me to work through. It's for prop number nine, something from a lesser known brand. And lesser known for me specifically i don't know if other people know about this brand or not but personally i didn't know about this brand until i got it so this is my co bigelow body lotion i got this when i was in tokyo in our like room set gift kind of thing that they gave us so it is from the pullman hotel and it's in the scent lavender peppermint formula there's 40 mls in here or 1.4 fluid ounces my goal is to finish this off it's a lotion i'm only gonna work on one and it's gonna be super easy so this is definitely gonna be done next time that is it guys that was super long uh super detailed <laughs> i'm very sorry i'm looking super glowy i am gonna go powder my face now and try to look a bit more pre presentable because I'm going out with my brother later on to buy my mom some gifts so I don't know if I'm gonna film that but maybe I will it's gonna be like a luxury gift uh kind of purchase so yeah we wanted to go together and get her some really nice gifts and like just like to show our appreciation to her you know so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my playlist as well as a playlist for this project. And I'll see you guys next time.